Damon Run in Splatoon 3 is amazing. Between the new bosses, movement tech, and King Salmonoids, Salmon Run is an amazing mode. But how could it be better? Well, today we're going to run through four concepts that I have that I think would make the overall experience for Salmon Run just a little bit better. Starting off, we have the addition of a minimap. Now, Salmon Run as it is right now lacks a minimap, and I honestly think it'd be great if we have one. Now, the major use of the new minimap would be the ability to see golden eggs scattered across the map in a similar way to how Clam Blitz displays clams on the minimap as well. However, one extra addition to the minimap, which is also the next feature I want to add, is the ability to super jump. And this will work as it normally does in basic matches, but the difference with super jumping in Salmon Run is that you can super jump to teammates even if you're downed. However, it's at the expense of only being able to use it twice. I think balancing the jumps to work as a limited feature would actually be pretty good, as it means that you can just simply jump out of an area anytime you want, and it also adds a little bit more strategy to the mode as well. The next thing I want to add for Salmon Run though are Salmon Run exclusive abilities. The way these will work is that a player is only able to equip one Salmon Run exclusive ability and that ability will help them out as long as they have it on. A few ideas for these abilities includes a Salmon Deterrent ability, which makes it so that during the Griller and Rush special waves, the player has a lower chance of being targeted for the first 70 seconds of a wave. After the first 70 seconds are over though, the player's ability to be targeted will be put back to normal. Another concept is the Ink Stomp ability. What this does is make it so that if players are able to walk and paint over salmon produced sludge in order to make a path. Obviously this type of ability would be pretty damn strong, so to balance it, I think it'd be cool to make it so that the ability only works so long as the player has ink in their tank. Now if you haven't noticed, the ability concepts that I mentioned can be pretty damn strong, but also have their drawbacks. And that's the point, because I think it'd be great if we added these abilities in the salmon run, but give them downsides, so that Salmon Run is actually still a challenge. Moving on to my last idea for Salmon Run though, I think it'd be great if the devs introduced rotating specials. The way this works is that every month, a total of five specials are available for use in Salmon Run, with these five specials being randomly distributed to each player during a match. However, in order to balance this, specific types of specials will be placed for each rotation, meaning that no monthly special rotation will only consist of specials like Bubbler, Ink, Vac, and Screen, and that each rotation will have a guarantee to have two or three specials that paint effectively like Booyah Bomb, Mist, and Tri-Strike, and two other ones like Killer Whale and Stamp that are built around support. To be honest, I think adding this to the game would be pretty damn cool as Splatoon 3 is a total of 19 specials with only a handful of them being available in Salmon Run. So not only would it be cool to see how each special would perform in Salmon Run, it also would give a bit more of a challenge to the mode as well as it means that players will have to adapt to Salmon Run every month. Overall, I think these changes for Salmon Run are pretty cool and I'd love to see them get added to the game. But what do you think? Are some of these ideas too much or are they just what Salmon Run needs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and feel free to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. But for now, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later. Bye! Kill.